guys, it's Terminator T Games here, and we are back for another episode of Fallout 4. Woo! Fallout 4! That's a cool game! Yeah! Let me take all those, actually, and then... Hey! Dog meat! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! I'm gonna... I'm gonna put some stuff in there, but it's cool to be back. Yeah. And I hope you guys enjoyed my my last video of Fallout 4. I really do hope you did. Let me just put those away. I'm not going to use those. And I'm not going to use that. And I'm just going to put those two away. That's not what I meant. That is not what I meant. 10 millimeter pistol. And a fragmentation grenade. That's not what I meant either. Here we go. But let's get started in it. This is going to be a short-ish video. I'm just after, I'm just going to clear out this place, the Museum of Freedom. I'm going to talk to Preston Garvey, and I am going to, after I talk to him, I'm going to stop. So, let's kill some, uh, let's kill some raiders. That's not what I meant. Do 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 do. No more pressure shock impatience. I'm doing with you. Ah! Have your team back, you are. I'm Let me just beat you up. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, that must have hurt. Yeah, it's raider stuff. Not here. Now, if you've gotten to as far as I have and have actually paid attention to anything I've been saying, yes, please. Then you might, you can go down here and you can, seriously, you can unlock it. Lock click it. Okay. There we go. Now, what you want to do is you can go down here and get yourself a free a fusion core. So that makes you have two if you got what I got in the last game, or in the last the last time I played. Hold up, guys. Hold up. I did something and I didn't mean it. Oh, oh, okay. That was weird. Alright. Let's get back into it then. That's not exactly what I was planning on doing, actually. What I was gonna do is I was gonna throw a grenade or I was gonna throw my throw over there a Molotov cocktail, but shooting one of them and then shooting the other while taking some damage, that's fine too. Oh yeah, and I, if you noticed, I didn't actually put the, what you call it, I should have killed the other guy, he had the gun. Let me just, there we go. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. Glad to help, buddy. Glad to help. Well, if that's true, we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. Go on. Please, go on. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. Hmm, that's sad. First it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Sounds rough, buddy. Sorry. Sounds rough. Thanks. It's good to meet someone who really cares. Anyway, 
We figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, yeah. well, we do have one idea. That's great. One good idea can make all the difference. Sturgis, sell him. Okay. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Ooh. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertebrate. <laughs> Do that. And those raiders get an express ticket to hell. Heck. You dig? I dig. Minigun. Now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. That's the reason why I said to go into that mole rat cave to get that fusion core. And I said to get that other fusion core right at the very bottom. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's mm. down in the basement, locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. I already have it. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Thanks. All right, so in here, there's actually... Some of you probably already saw it. Well, there, first of all, there's this, and this is... It's just like a hollow tape game that you can play that I'm not going to play. Another thing you can do is get this... And I actually, oh, so I haven't. I actually have a trick here. Most of you probably already know this. So if you do, then that's fine. But if you don't, then that's fine too. Now, as you can see in here, you, you have like all of these words that you have to do. And then you have a, a certain amount of attempts, four attempts. But if you, see, if you see something like this, like two brackets facing each other on the same line, you can click on it and it will remove one of the duds, but it'll also have a chance to refill all of your lives. So it's bra it could do it could be brackets, it could be parentheses, it could be these thingamajiggies, and it could be these thingamajiggies. I'm gonna try to find another one here. Yeah, right here. These thingamaj <laughs> these thingamajiggies. That's what I'm calling them because I don't know what they're called. They're likely be another one but if it's two different ones facing each other like this one and this one or this one and that one it won't work because it has to be the same thing it has to be parenthesis to parenthesis or bracket to bracket yeah so there's another one and there's another one and there we go and it removed three duds so there is nothing on this side now it's just one and two. Nice. All right. Now, the only reason that you do that is because if you did not get the fusion core at the bottom, you can use this to unlock the security gate, or you can look at log entries. But if you already unlock the security gate and you don't really care about the log entries, then what it does is just gives you 13, or it just gives you experience. And it's just basically all of that. Oh, this is Megan Hayes. I'm a tour guide here at the Concord Museum, Museum of Freedom. I'm so scared. When everyone left, when everybody saw the flashes, they left. Even Mr. Nash, he just ran away and left me here. Jack. Then one of those army helicopter things crashed into the roof. I saw soldiers, but they looked freaked out. I just hid from them. I've only been in Massachusetts a month. I don't really know anyone, and I don't know where to go. I broke the lock on the curator's desk and took the gun. I'm going to hide in one of the rooms for a few days until things calm down. If somebody reads this, please come find me. But if you try to... It doesn't look like he survived. Oh, man. That's sad. 
And then you can read the rest. Yes, please. Yes, please. You can use it, Sturgis, even though I already did it. Now, there's something in here that... These are our lives you're playing with. Are you listening to me? Just look at ya. He's a good dog. He's a good dog. Smart, too. Oh, indeed. Dog makes good at finding folks who need him. And he'll stick by you now. I saw it. Please, tell me what you know. Just listen to me. <laughs> Pin oh boy. A crazy old lady. With the chems, you see. But with old Mama Murphy, the sight. Been that way since I was a girl. Okay, then. That's incredible. I can see a bit of what was and what will be. And even what is right now she creeps me out and right now i can see this something coming drawn by the noise and the chaos uh oh and it is angry uh oh I'll try it. What is it? Mama Murphy, I need more, please. Dang it! I'm, I'm sorry, kid. But I just don't know. The sight ain't always clear. But believe me when I tell you, it ain't a radar. I know what it is. <sighs> but I'm tired now. And if I ain't mistaken, you've got a job to do. Okay, then. I already know what's out there. What's out there is a death claw. Yay! But, something that you might want to do. You can't just stay trapped in here. This is ridiculous. S somebody do something. Shut up. Why don't you do something? Hmm? But, <laughs> uh, you might want to take this perception bobblehead. Only through observation will you perceive weakness. Your perception has permanently increased by one. You see bobblehead there will be bobbleheads all across the wilderness uh, all across the wasteland that you can use and get increased stats, like increased perception, increased charisma. It's it increases one of your special stats. Yes. S P E C I A L. Strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck. Alrighty then. Well, if you got this far, ow, you're doing good. And, and yes, I do have the all of the DLCs for this game. So, well, you might also want to take the cap stash. Go ahead. Go away. You could also take that. And take that but with all of the DLCs that required me to go other places like Nuka World and Far Harbor and those are the only two ones I'm gonna be doing that at the end of the game so when I finish the game that is when I'll do it so I'll basically have a let's play that has me doing Far, Har or Far Harbor and I'll have a let's play me for me doing Nuka World so basically in the title you'll see Fallout 4 Nuka World and then whatever the episode title will be and then fallout for far harbor and then whatever the title will be so yeah but i'm kind of excited for those and i'm also excited to be playing with the contraptions workshop the what you call it the wasteland workshop and There we go. A wasteland workshop, the contraptions workshop, and the. Hold on. Well, so do I. So, what I'm gonna do is. And the vault workshop. 
and also the Automatron DLC. You guys are going to be having a great time. I'm going to tell you that much. Oh my god, I have... Yeah, that's the, the main reason why I was... Yeah, so, uh, yeah. You guys are not... Why are you trying to attack me? You should be attacking... Oh, buddy, I'm sorry to... Oh. Oh. I'm gonna take everything from you. Uh-oh. How are you still alive, buddy? I can't allow that. You know that, right? Quick, grab the stuff and run. And quick, wasn't there something else over here? Hmm. That's exactly the reason why I ran. <laughs> yeah. And I'm glad I did. Don't you lose me. And, uh, yeah. No, you're the dead one, buddy. You are dead. Oh man, I had a minigun on me, so. And power armor. Let's hope he can carry a bit of stuff. He can. Let's give him that. And the knuckles. You got the knuckles! Do you not know it? That meme is dead though. Yeah, that meme was, it was dead as fast as it was alive, or as, yeah. Kill that death block! Kill him! I'm sorry, dog meat! It's the end of the line for who? I don't want to die. <laughs> Dog meat is a war hero. You are my savior. I love you, Dog meat. Thank you so much. Okay, I'll just take that. Where is everyone? Hello, come out, come out, wherever you are. Wherever you are. <laughs> I found you. Goodbye. Where are you? Whatever. It'll be a bit better. Let me. Take the pipe pistol for no apparent reason. Just because I want to. And then I'll let him take out that last guy. Fine, I'll take him out. Sorry, buddy. He just didn't. He didn't have the guts to live. That's mine. If only I could carry that thing. That's not what I meant. I just tried to, that's all I tried to do. I just tried to carry it. I need the power armor so I can carry more stuff. Yeah, this video is going to be a, this video is also kind of short. It was it's 25 minutes long. It's more than I actually said it was going to be in my Skyward, previous Skywars video. So, yeah. Pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you're on our side. Eh, not really. But whatever. You can never have too many friends. Not in the Commonwealth. Listen, when we first met, you said you were glad to help. 
Well, you did. And we owe you our lives. So here. It ain't much, but it's the best way I can say thank you. I didn't do it for the money, buddy. I did not help I for the money. Do it for money. Hey, sorry. I'm used to everyone being in it only for themselves. You know, you remind me of my friends. The other Minutemen. The ones who gave their lives for something bigger than themselves. You should come with us to Sanctuary. What friends? Use the help. <laughs> They're all dead. All that... right, Garvey. Or they're somewhere else. Oh, that's wonderful. But there's more to your destiny, isn't there? I've seen it. And I know your pain. Oh, she talks too slow. Please, tell me. I need to know. You're a man out of time. Out of Cue the credits. <laughs> All's not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. Thank God. I knew it. Please tell me where he is. I need to find my son. I can't see him. Not clearly. But I feel his life force. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. Honestly, I don't I think that it shouldn't be called Diamond City if it's if the wall is green, then it should be called Emerald City because emeralds are green and diamonds are blue. Now, why don't you paint Diamond City blue? Make it the great blue. Can you say that a little louder? Please, Mama Exactly. I need more. Look, kid, I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The site will paint a clearer picture. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Gosh, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the sight. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Wait, I need a... Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. No more I need to go get that stuff from those people that I slaughtered. <laughs> Whoa, 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 that is so weird. Hold on, hold on. Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So, Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Exactly. Eggs. Exactly. Well, then. That was excellent. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Get it? Because I said exactly. Stupid, stupid. I'm just collecting some supplies. Psycho makes you psycho. <laughs> Ooh, bag of cement. That's helpful. If you, like, the vault workshop, very useful, very helpful. But if you don't got, like, the proper money, or if you don't got, like, if you don't have it, then cement is definitely something you really need. Marcy, go. And one of my, I think one of my next Let's Plays for this might be, come on, seriously, I hate when that happens. Might be role-playing where I, like, everybody's usually the good guy, but maybe I might, like, have a role-play to where, a role-play series to where I kill everybody. So I'm kind of like, I kill everybody inside with the Institute. The paid to get this far. Yeah. Let's move out. I'll take point. Stay close, everyone. We're right behind you, boss. Impressive, huh? Impressive, huh? God, nobody cares. Nobody cares about my life choices. Still can't believe he took that thing out. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very glad it's already dead. No thanks to you. No, no, no. You helped. You helped me kill the 
people the raiders so I could deal with them, so I could deal with the death call, but I would have rather you helped me kill someone else. It would have been easier that one. For me and for you. Ooh, psycho. Oh, and a chem stat or cap stash. Wow. Can you please move doll? Let's just collect everything until I can't collect anything anymore. That's weird. It just shows that they're that you're like not allowed whatsoever. Giddy up buttercup head. Hmm. Oh wow. That's interesting. Conquered Civic Access. I'll have to go there one day. It doesn't seem to be on the map either. I don't know. But once I get to Sanctuary, after following these guys, I'm gonna have to stop, so yeah. I'm just gonna use this pistol. Mostly because I didn't kill those guys. I'm gonna miss this festering boil on the ass end of the Commonwealth. Uh, no offense. From here. You got this. Just keep your cool. Keep your cool. Got it. There we go. I did something. Yay. Aw. Cannon. Cannon. There we go. Ooh, bottle caps. Two bottle caps. Yeah, I'm gonna meet you guys there. Because I've already used one of my fusion cores and I'm already low. So yeah. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. I have one extra fusion core, I believe. But I am low, so I'll meet you guys there. I know. I know it is. Wait a minute. Let me go into my inventory. Hold on. Ammo. Let's make sure. Oh, what? I only have one fusion core? What happened to the other one? Did I already use it? Wow. I can't believe I already used it. Oh. Interesting. All right. I'm gonna run over. Run on over to uh, the power armor station so I can set this thing down, fix it up, and leave it there since I don't have any more fusion cores, which sucks. Hey, Codsworth, you're in the same place as you always are. And there we go. And I believe, yep. You know, why is that kickball moving? Oops. Okay. Escape. Transfer. And I am going to store all junk. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna keep the pre-war money anymore. I used to do that, but it's just. It, it takes up no space, but it's kind of dumb to keep it. Let me get this one. Scrap. Scrap. Eh, actually cancel. I'm going to keep that. Switch I don't want a switch blade. This thing. Yes, three crank. That one takes science, though. And I need, I need science. Wait a minute. Do I have a, can I level up? Maybe? Maybe? Yeah, I can. It didn't give me the awesome music that I always love. There we go. So now, with the short laser musket, I can get the four crank. Full stock. Oh, I, j I just reached the next level, too. Cool. I can't do anything because I have no adhesive. Ad adhesive. Since I leveled up. Yay! Awesome music.
I am going to get scrapper. So I, so I can get screws, aluminum, and copper when scrapping the weapons. Let me talk to Codsworth. Maybe not. Where are you, Codsworth? Codsworth. Come here, boy. I'm speaking to him like he is a dog. Where is Codsworth, though? C can you please move? I'm glad you decided to come with us. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? I lived yeah. here. I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here over 200 years ago. I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? Nope. I mean, yep. <laughs> My, My son. son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. Okay. And I hope you don't mind, <laughs> but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking There's Codworth. for help. Codsworth. There's still hope in their Miniman out there. Somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Miniman is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, mm. I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out with the settlement? Sure. I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The Miniman could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgeon. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. Wow, I almost leveled up again. Well, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna build some stuff so I can level up. I'm gonna build some stuff really quickly. But, yeah, I'm probably gonna end it off here, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed this awesome video. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Good boy, you did a good trick. Although nobody besides me acknowledged it. Whatever. <laughs> but, see, I have all of this. I have concrete, warehouse, I have all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Oh, I can't do vault stuff. That's too bad. I probably have to reach... Level 20, I believe. And then I'll be able to do it. But let's go into the prefabs. And I'm just going to build a large shack since I have the supplies for a large shack. There we go. Nope. Scrap that. There we go. It's kind of weird having to press enter to scrap stuff and to do all kinds of stuff, but I'm getting used to it. That's one of the main reasons I played off camera, is just so I could get used to the to the new commands and stuff. And I was also kind of sick. I wanted to, I wanted to play this game with you guys uh, on or like uh, like the first time. To get like genuine reactions, but I got sick and I had to stay home from school, so I just played this game while I was at home. But still, I'm here playing with you, playing it with you guys now. So yeah, twelve wood for that huge tree. You guys probably already left the video. I'm going to probably cut this out. I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I, I really do. I really do. Let me get out. Let me go to... Oops. Let me get out again. And let me go to resources. And let me get water. Now this thing is cool. I can build this. No, I can't. 
I'll just build these things for now. But I can build that to, for 10 power, which is pretty awesome. No, oh, no, not yet. No, not no. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Let me build three of those, and let me just build some, get some food. Gonna do some tato, tatoes. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm looking forward to doing base building. Base building is fun. It's, and especially when I have the contraptions workshop, because you can just have, like, super complex contraptions going on. Especially at the Starlight Drive-In. That's a, that's a big place where you can do a lot of contraptions, because it's such a huge open area. Yeah, the same with the, with the, the vault that you can go to, Vault 88, in the, in the Vault Tech Workshop. Yeah. And I will likely be using the Wasteland Workshop a lot. Like cages and all kinds of stuff like that. Oh, I had a perfect amount. Yay. Can I? Yes, I can build a scavenging station. I will probably build like three of those back over here. Because you really get very little amount from the scavenging stations. But... Like I've watched, I watched up a video. What did that say? In the same way, it work as a sign. Okay, never mind. Yeah, but like I watched a video where this guy did like twenty, had like twenty eight or twenty one or something like that. Wow, that gives you a lot. Had a, a, a ton of scavenging stations, and he waited for like a couple days, and he left, and then he came back, and got very little. So, it's kind of not worth it, but at the same time, it just, it doesn't take that much, so, it's simple, I guess, or it's fine, I guess you could say. Now, with building, I'll never put houses, or never put anything in that house, because that's my house, and it has a lot of sentimental value, and if anything, I would probably put, like, a bed for me, like a double-decker, or not double-decker, a good bed, furniture, beds... The best thing about the f with the Vault Tech Workshop is I get this awesome bed, the awesome bed that ha that's awesome, and it isn't even ugly at all. See, so yeah, I always usually just I always at the beginning of each game that I play I always just use this get the this prefab building to make it simpler and easier for me. Yeah. And then I can build beds inside. I'll build like a bed right here. Even though it's kind of weird. And I think I'll build no more beds because it'll be kind of weird. All right. <clears throat> and I will do, now what I do with the, what I'm gonna do with the defenses is a little bit different. Yes. Where are you? Ha <laughs> <laughs> did not even hit me once. I don't think he hit me. You're in charge of protecting me, by the way. Just so you know. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, how much can I do? Okay, I can do that much. So I'm likely going to do, I'm probably going to have it go from like here. Okay, anyways, I'll, I'll do that later in the next video. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I really do. Hope you enjoyed. Hmm, that was weird. But, I'm going to have to end the video off here, so I will see you all later. And, peace out!